prominent Uyghur academic has been reportedly jailed for life by China for endangering state security. 57-year-old Professor Rahil Dawood is an expert on Uyghur folklore and traditions and has been teaching at Xinjiang University College of Humanities before her arrest. She lost her appeal last month. Now, China denies allegations of crimes against humanity towards the Uyghur population located in northwest China. Well, a short time ago, we spoke to Roshan Abbas, the founder and executive director of the Campaign for Uyghurs organization. She's an activist whose group was nominated for the Nobel Prize last year. We asked her about the prominent academic. Raila Dawood is an internationally recognized Uyghur intellectual and an expert in Uyghur uh, traditional culture and the folklore. And she has written many uh, publications and also given lectures in the worldwide in the different platforms and stages. And she is highly respected among the Uyghur diaspora community for being one of the prominent scholars in the Uyghur academia. Extremely upset because um, she is sentenced for a life in a secret trial uh, by you know, so-called uh, splitism charges and endangering the, uh, the government uh, uh, national security or whatever the uh, terms that they use uh, to justify its crackdown on the Uyghurs. The uh, Chinese Communist regime regards any academic study of Uyghur culture as a threat and which demonstrated by this um, uh, imposition of a life sentence on the Raila Dawood. Her only crime is being an Uyghur and being an Uyghur anthropologist. Her story intensively illustrates the Beijing's um, ruthless elimination of the Uyghur culture through this modern genocide as she represents hundreds and thousands of uh, Uyghur scholars, writers, professors, university presidents, and the doctors and the philanthropists. September 2018, just six days after my first public speech at the uh, Washington think tank, um, my own sister Gulshan Abbas was unjustly detained by the regime as a retaliation for my uh, exercise of free speech as a US citizen. And this month, we just marked the fifth year anniversary of her detention. And we don't know anything about her uh, condition of her health, or we have not given any proof of life. And the Chinese regime has maintained silence regarding her situation while their media outlet, the China Global Times Network, attacked me and accused me of stealing other people's photo and claiming my missing sister and lying about her detention. And then two years later, uh, the Chinese Foreign Ministry of Foreign Affairs um, in late 2020 confirmed her wrongful imprisonment and uh, based on all the ridiculous fabricated charges, uh, they sentenced her harshly. My sister is a retired medical doctor and she has no political history. She's just a mother and a grandma who continues to suffer in prison today.